This Instagram model has taken the internet like a storm, but she actually doesn't exist in her real life because this is all e generated. And according to some news, she is earning more than $10,000 a month and she has more than 188k Instagram followers on just 61 posts. But don't worry, in this video, I'm gonna show you how you guys can make your own AI influencer for free in few easy steps. So without any further ado, let's dive into the video. So there are a lot of AI image generators that can help you to make this AI influencer but the most easiest and best method is this Google Collab notebook. So if you're not familiar with the Google Collab, Google Collab is a free cloud-based platform where you can execute Python codes, machine learning, data sciences and any other model without having any high-end GPU. And the credit goes to this guy Cam Duro who shared this awesome Google Collab notebook with us. And this guy shares a lot of cool AI stuff so you guys can follow him on our Twitter. So basically this Google Collab notebook is a stable diffusion web UI called focus and this is a rethinking of stable diffusion and mid journey design and the best thing you can even install this on your local computer this is open source and free to use but in this video we're going to use its google collab notebook that is a cloud based and if you're a mobile user simply go to your chrome browser and turn on the desktop mode and now you can do the same thing on your mobile phone so first of all simply click on this connect button and this will be connected to your gpu don't worry, this is all cloud-based, you don't need any GPU for that. So once it's connected, simply click on this play button and click run anyway. Now this will start executing the code and you only have to wait for a few minutes. Okay, so once it's done, you just have to click on this radio link and you will be redirected to its web interface. So here you guys can see, we have the space to enter the prompt, we have the input image options, we have the advanced options. So first of all, click on this advanced option and now you can see we have few options here. You can select the aspect ratio. We have each and every aspect ratio that you can imagine. And you can even control the number of images here. Then you can enter the negative prompt in it if you want to. But we're going to leave it like this. And from here, you can even control the quality of your image. But I would like to keep it default. Now the next option is the style option. And here you can see we have different styles. And the by default, this is selected as a focus version 2, focus enhance, focus sharp. But there is a complete list of styles that you can select from the food, anime, realistic, ads, watercolor, typography, cyberpunk, futuristic, photographic and this is an endless list of styles that you can select. But we are only gonna go with the focus version 2, focus enhance and focus sharp that is the default setting. Now next we have the models and here you can see we have the base model Juggernaut XL and according to me this is the most realistic model in stable diffusion. So don't change anything in it just keep it like a default then we have the advanced option where you can select the guidance skills and even the image sharpening but i would recommend you to use the default settings now select the aspect ratio in what aspect ratio you want to make an image so i'm going to select the one ratio one and now in the prompt section i'm going to use this prompt realistic portrait of a beautiful woman with pink hairs hair roots slightly faded spanish influencer light freckles brown eyes no makeup instagram now hit generate and this will start generating your image and the image generation time depends on the number of images and the image quality that you have selected and now you can see it gave us two beautiful images of a girl so this is the first image and this is the second image and look at this how realistic these images are now save the image that you like most so i'm gonna save it on my computer so once it's downloaded the next step is to click on this input image option and now you can see we have few options here upscale variation image prompt and in painting or out painting but for now we have to click on this image prompt and here simply upload the image that we have just downloaded. So here we have our A influencer image and scroll down a little bit and here click on the advanced options. And now you can see we have few more options here and this time simply click on this face swap option. Now go to your prompt section and just type anything like a woman wearing party dress and hit generate. Because we gave it an image prompt, now it will try to generate the same model but in different pose, in different locations. And here we have the output images and now you can see this is almost matching with our first image. You can see this is the same lady but in different pose and different clothes. Now let's try something else like a woman wearing white t-shirt on a beach and hit generate. And these are the output images and look at this, how detailed these images are. And this is exactly matching with our input character. If we look at the input character, you can see this one is exactly matching with our input character. But sometimes it may not match 100% with our input character. 
and for that you can use the face wrapping technique but unfortunately i cannot share that technique because of the copyright issues so you can simply go to the youtube.com and in the search bar simply search for face wrap image ai and then you will have a lot of videos on image face swapping. So that's how you guys can make your own A influencer in just few easy steps. And all of the links are in the description below. Go ahead and start making your own A influencer. And that's it from this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one.